know the rule. <laughs> and you, now you guys can't see me. See what I do? Alright. This is basically just about writing your own spells. Yes, you can. And actually, it took me years until it honestly just... Like that. Like, I literally felt my spirit guides, deities, whatever you want to say. It was kind of guided me. Like, they were flowing through the pen with me. Things were popping up in my head. Yes, I have intuition and things like that. But we all have intuition. But, you know, I... To work on my psychic abilities and stuff like that, but I'm not saying that we all have intuition, so go with your intuition and say you're thinking about a spell. Now, I was thinking about a home spell, find a new home or get someone to fuck out spell. Keys came to my head. Normally, yes, keys home, but it, I swear to God, it was not like that. Things were just popping in my head, and I was making up the spell, and I wrote up the spell, even though parts were like backwards. But I'm, I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to make my own spell out of this. And then I, I literally thought of like three or four spells just in one day. And it, you know, so like, it, I mean, I've written my own spells before. But I've really realized a lot. You, you really have to, I really feel like manifestation, it is manifestation, but manifesting, meditating before you do it is so important. Like you have to get in that witchy mood. Put on a little music, whatever type of music gets your vibe going, put that music on, get in that mood, make sure you're calm, you're uninterrupted, and you're not in a bad mood, unless you want a bad spell. If you do, if you are doing it, I don't, honestly, okay, I'm not saying, I'm not telling people to do them or not to do them. I'm saying my opinion, if you're going to do a, what people call a darker magic spell, um, you know, like, something against someone's will, like, you know, I just suggest, like, think about it, if, if they really, really deserve it, you know, if, if someone really fucking deserves it, I'm not saying, okay, they broke your heart, they deserve it, like, I'm talking, someone really did something horrible, because, I mean, some people, some of us do believe in the threefold law, some of us don't, but karma is a thing, we all know this, karma is a thing, and if you hurt someone, you know, there's a really great chance that you just know it. If it's, and if you feel like, yeah, I don't believe in that shit, whatever, I've done that before, then whatever. But if you're new to this, really understand that doing spells like that, it's really not recommend. Like, do what go, do what you feel is right, uh, you know. But I'm just not going to recommend spells that are against someone's will. I've been through personal experiences and stuff to know it's just never good. It's never good, trust me. And with magic, if you really want it to work, you have to really put your physical work in, your mental work in. But what, during this play, you have to envision, envision what it is you want. You know, write down what you want. Write down the intent. You know, whether you fold it. If you fold, usually, if you want it to out with, I would say fold it out. If you want to do it three times, do it three times. If you want to do it nine times, do it if you like God numbers, do what makes sense to you is the most important thing. But this is just supposed to be a short video on how to write spells, but also about the new witch. Like, the new witch, listen, like, I'm still an amateur. I'm not a goddamn, like, you know, crone. I haven't done this, for, I haven't been doing this forever. I, yeah, I'm doing it for, But, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to come up on here, like, I'm the smartest, which, no, um, we all get, excuse me, we all get, we, we all get knowledge from each other, you know, but sometimes we may take a religion or take someone's, um, spell, right, and we'll change it around to our own, that's even kind of making your own spells, and then from there, you go on to kind of saying, what makes sense, what herb makes sense for what I want? Okay, this is a protection herb. I want protection. And that's a protection herb. And that's a protection herb. And I have those herbs. So those herbs are easy to get. Alright, so my spell is going to be crushing them up or leaving one hole. You know what I'm saying? The potency, the vibration, like, and you're putting in each herb, you're putting your intention into it. All of your energy, your magic, you're putting that hate or that love, that, that protection. 
I am protected. I am building a wall around me. I may want to use red brick dust. Hey, if that ain't your thing, that ain't your thing. You can use other things. You can use dirt. Dirt is the ground. You're grounded. You know what I'm saying? For home to me, it made sense with keys, but keys literally came to my brain. And then for some reason, like, the rug, I'm like, okay, put it into the person's rug or wrap it into a rug. And, I, and then it's like, okay, this spell is getting really difficult. And then I'm like, I could break this spell down into, like, four different spells. I can make a simple way. I can make a harder way. Because I feel in some ways that when you have a spell that's a tad more difficult, it doesn't always mean this, but sometimes a spell, especially when you're first getting, when you do a spell that's a little harder, like, after all, I don't want to say first getting in because I mean, like, a year in. Because, like... You want to get through the other spells, right? And then, when you're doing a spell that is um, a little more difficult, I think you're putting more intent into it. You're really getting that feeling, really getting into it. So, it's not the size of the spell, really, that makes... Like, I don't want to sound like I'm saying it, because it's not. You could do a simple writing spell, burn it. You could burn a bay leaf, bump. Like, it's about putting your... It's how much intention are you really putting into it? How much, um, are you getting that vibration going? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be all crazy and dance over here. Like, but I'm, I mean, really, put that vibration into that spell, and you're going to get something great, then. You can do a writing spell. You can write your own spell out. But my, my opinion is research the herbs. You know, make sure you're using the right things if you want love. You're going to use roses and, you know, like, if you want, you want someone to get their just rewards, that's a little more difficult because you want to think now, really think, is it something that can be worked out? Is it something that can be talked out? Is it something that in a year from now or six months from now, I'm not going to give a shit about anymore? Because I'll tell you, six months ago, 35 years old, and six months, no, not six months, like a year ago. It's Now it's close, actually, it's over a year. Uh, I really fucking hated a couple of people and just couldn't stand it. Like, I would have done anything. Not magic. I didn't do any magic on them, but who knows? Like, if I was younger, what? Like, so what I'm saying is, and now I don't give a fuck. So what I'm saying is, it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry to ramble. That's why I call it Raven Ramble sometimes jokingly. But, um, no. Just saying that, really think about, about it. Like, is it something you, you, you probably will get over, guys? I, let me tell you, I was the most codependent bitch, like, I've had the, a history of terrible loves and great guys that I hurt and all that, okay, and chicks and whatever, but, and I didn't hurt them on purpose, like, but things happen in life and we have to get through, we get a witch through it, okay, so, and that's not my, witch through it is not my word, but we get a witch through it, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm just basically saying, yes, you can write your own spells. I literally made up three spells today. Maybe it was the weird, I don't know. <laughs> so it's a little weird. But this is what, I mean, fuck, I don't do anything else. But take things from other witches. Take information from other witches. It's great. If you're like me, you're a solitary witch that doesn't really know anybody anymore. No one does it anymore. You don't talk to anybody. Luckily, I'm getting my sis into it, though. My sister. But, um... Because our grandmother, I mean, we're, we're born of it, man. But you don't have to be born of it. It doesn't make you a stronger witch or anything. I'm just saying it's in our blood. I feel we should do it. I feel like we just are. We need to accept it. I mean, I accepted it, all right? She needs to accept it. And she says to me, oh, I don't want to be like a poser or anything. And I'm like, you're not a poser. If you're interested in something and you want to learn, that's learn. Learn about it. Live it. Know it. And the longer you do, you know, you just go, it's like anything else. It's like riding a bike, you know. You start with training wheels, and then you take those training wheels off, and before you know it, you're soaring. You just, but you just got to keep at it like anything else, because you can forget. I mean, you never really forget how to ride a bike, but you might get a little, you might get a little slippery slide. You know what I'm saying, guys. But, yes, yeah, so you can write your own spells, and I guess we'll just call this the new witch and writing your own spells. Quick chat with Raven Moon. All right, bye, guys. Um, blessed be as always. Take care. Bye.